Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The next discussion will be about those things which will neither break a person's fast, obviously therefore not necessitating the qada, the makeup, or necessitating the kafara expiation. But at this but at the same time, these things will be considered makru disliked to do while a person is fasting. So the first thing will be if a person tastes some food or chews on it, like for example gum, or he's chewing on some other substance like rubber or plastic items or things like that, on condition that he doesn't swallow the substance. For example, if he's chewing the gum, he doesn't swallow the secretions that will emit from chewing the gum. And also this is on condition that there is no valid excuse for doing such an act. There could be a valid excuse for a person tasting food without swallowing. That is, for example, a woman. That is, for example, a woman who has a husband who is not very kind and always criticizes the food. And she is worried that the husband will not like the taste of the food so she can taste the food to make sure that the husband will like it on condition that she does not swallow the food. In which case it will not be even mildly disliked for her to do such an act. So this will be a valid excuse. Some other things which are makru disliked acts while a person is fasting is, for example, uh, if a person kisses or touches his spouse while not feeling secure about himself from ejaculating or having you know, further marital relationships. So this will be disliked, makru to do. Some, another act which will be makru disliked while a person is fasting is, for example, to delay a bath that has become obligatory intentionally until after the fajr time. So... A person is a man or a woman is in the state of Janaba before the Fajr time and this state was <clears throat> this state was brought upon oneself intentionally and a person delays to take the bath all the way up to the time which is past the Fajr time, which is past true dawn, and therefore enters into this into the state of fasting while a person is also in the state of Janaba. So this is also a dislike makru to do. Something else which is makru dislike is to collect saliva in a person's mouth and then swallow it in an effort to quench a person's thirst. So this is also disliked. Another thing which would be disliked to do would be to use toothpaste or tooth powder or things like that, as long as a person does not swallow these substances. Something else disliked would be, for example, to complain of hunger and thirst while a person is fasting. This is a disliked act. Something else disliked would be also to put water very deep into the nostrils while a person is trying to rinse his nostrils, on condition that obviously the water doesn't reach his brain or his throat and go down his into his stomach. Uh, this will also be a disliked act. Something else disliked would be to gargle more than necessary. Uh, some other disliked acts would be to quarrel, argue, use filthy and obscene words while a person is fasting, or for example, to backbite, to lie, and to swear. So all of these things will be disliked. Obviously, these things are a sin, and these things are disliked uh, outside of the month of Ramadan and not when a, and, and when a person is not in the state of fasting also. But when a person is in the state of fasting, these things, these acts become even more disliked and may cause a person to lose all the reward for his fast also. One, one other thing which will be disliked, an act which is disliked while a person is fasting, is to, is to do cupping or do such acts which will weaken a person to the point where a person may have to break his fast. So to do any act which will weaken a person to the point where a person feels he has to break his fast, this is also going to be a makru act. If on the other hand a person he does cupping on condition that he doesn't feel that he is being weakened, then there is nothing wrong with such an act that is not makru disliked.